Welcome to day two of the 11 keys to you, to your spiritual treasures, to heart consciousness, whatever suits you. And here in day two, I want to invite you to shed your past. So yesterday we let go of all that you think that you are. And today we invite you to shed your past. When we are in the past, we cannot really be here. Whether this is a past that we are holding on consciously to, or whether it's a past that is brought down to us by our ancestors and our lineages, it still holds us. So in the shamanic world, of course, we're stepping into the invisible realms and making really sure that we prepare and that we open up all this past that is holding us back as when we can be truly present and in our presence then life is much much easier then your whole day becomes a meditation because you are not carried into the past you are not attached to the past you don't even need to think much about it you can be truly here. So on this journey that we are all on together, it's very important that we come into this presence. So in this sound journey, it will be shamanic, of course, we will help you to shed your past. But I give you another little hint as you continue to blow your I am's into the candles. Another thing that you might find very interesting Notice whenever you want to blame somebody or something for whatever happened. And instead, look on the other side and figure out how can it work. As you're shedding the past, you don't need to make anybody responsible, guilty or blame, including yourself. And you can just be here and look how things actually can work. So this is another little praxis that we give you on the way. And now enjoy this sound journey to shed your past. Let's journey together. In this journey, today we will share the past. And you will receive your second key. In our sacred space, we will invite the six directions. We connect in the south with such a mama, the great serpent. In the west, we connect with Otorongo, the jaguar, the recycle of the jungle. In the north, we connect with Hummingbird, Colibri, Segekente, the king of the impossible. In the east, we connect with Condor, with Eagle, the big and great birds to take us to see our life in different perspectives. Below us, we connect with Pachamama, Mother Earth, Papatonuku, Gaia. And above us, we connect with Inti Taita, Grandmother Moon, angels, archangels, ascended masters, and all kind of pin of lights. And we ask all these beings around us be present today for us in this journey. We invite you today 
in this moment to connect with your breathing, to relax. To relax all your focus, all your layers of consciousness. So relax your physical body. Relax your symbolic body, your mind, your emotions. Relax your psychic body, your soul, your sacred heart. And now we invite you to connect with your luminous body. And with this luminous body, we will journey together to receive your second key in the path of shedding your skin. So just be very present and conscious in this luminous body, the body of light, in which you journey today into the lower world, into your past, to shed the past that has been holding you for too long, and allow the drum take you to the river of life, your life, all that had a beginning and an ending, all that you have been through space, time, dimensions and all realities. Let the drum take you the beat of the drum taking you to the river of life in the lower worlds. Yes, imagine you can see the river from afar. It's calling you. It has been waiting for you to help you shed the past that trapped you and blocked you. As you're nearing, you hear the invitation to come into that river of life. And you're shedding the past, the current takes it all away, the illusion of all the personas that you have ever been. Taking away the guilt and the shame, the blame, the judgment and the fears. Noticing the current, noticing the love. Noticing the vortexes in your river as it gently helps you to shed your past. And also notice how it dissolves your past. A 
And now, a water dragon comes to you to congratulate you and help you to shed more and take you back into the flow of love and life. Now, you receive the second key. Your water dragon is giving you the key of presence. So you can always come back to you and enjoy and flow in the present. And receive now this beautiful key, the presence, the ability to always unlock the present moment, to be in presentness, being able to always respond and shine in the presence of your own being that is free. And so, thank you, water dragon. Thank you, river of life. As the beat of the drum is carrying you back into your space. Let the drum take you home where you are. And notice how your luminous body is clicking back in to your psychic body, to your symbolic body, and back into your physical. Bringing that key of your own presence into all your conscious fields and layers and bodies. Bringing that new level of freedom into all your being, every moment. The key is your access. Whenever you should forget or step out of your flow, Open your eyes and smile. Namaste. Namaste and aho.